Hello, future coders. Have you ever wondered how video games, apps, or even robots work? Or even dreamed of making your own? Well, guess what? You can do all of that with something called coding. Today we're going to learn how coding turns ideas into reality. So, Allison, what is coding? Coding is like using a special language to tell a computer what to do, whether it's creating a game, drawing a picture, or making a robot dance. Code is how we communicate with computers. Just like we use words to talk to each other, we use code to talk to computers. In coding, the instructions we give computers are called commands. These commands are like action words, things like move, turn, or pick up. By putting commands together, we can make the computer do all sorts of cool and fun things. When we code, we give the computer instructions to follow, step by step. Just like how you tell a friend how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. For example, commands are like saying, put the bread on the plate, or spread peanut butter on one side of the bread. Each command is a simple instruction, and when we combine them, they create something amazing. Now that we know what commands are, let's talk about sequencing. <laughs> sequencing means putting those commands in the right order. In coding, the order of steps is super important. Imagine trying to put the bread slices together before spreading the peanut butter and jelly. Uh, yeah, that wouldn't work. <laughs> So first we spread the peanut butter, and then we spread the jelly, and finally we put the slices together. That's sequencing in action. Now let's talk about algorithm. An algorithm is like a recipe that lists all the steps needed to make something. Here's our algorithm for making a PB&J sandwich. First, take two slices of bread. Next, spread peanut butter on one slice. Then spread jelly on the other slice. Finally, you put the slices together. Sometimes in coding, we need to repeat an action. Imagine spreading the peanut butter. It might take a few swipes to cover the whole slice, right? Instead of saying spread again and again, you say keep spreading until the whole slice is covered. That's what a loop does in coding. It repeats an action until it's done. And there you have it. Coding is just like making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You start with clear commands, follow the right sequence, use an algorithm to get the job done, and even add loops to repeat actions. Now that you know the basics, you're ready to start coding. And the best part, you can start practicing coding right now, even without a computer. This is called unplugged coding. To explore this more, let's play a maze game. Draw a maze on paper and then write down the steps to help your friend find the way out. Use arrows like up, down, left, and right. Congratulations, you're coding.